Good morning. This is week seven of business um, organizational behavior. I'm sorry. Uh, this is week seven organizational behavior. I'm your online instructor, Diana Block, and this is the spring 2014 quarter. So in week seven, I have an announcement here to remind you that next week uh, that paper is due that we've been talking about since week one, the movie analysis paper. Uh, so make sure you've made your preparation and acquired <clears throat> the movie that you need uh, to complete that. This week for week seven, you're going to be reading chapters 13 and 14 and the PowerPoints are attached there. Uh, you're going to complete uh, discussion for week seven and you've got an assignment for week seven so the assignment is the first part of it is on page 364 and it's about power at the Disney company so we'll take a look at that quickly and try to take a look at it quickly okay page 364 and uh, you're going to read an article about the Walt Disney Company. And then uh, there's four questions at the end of the case that you'll answer. So here's the four questions. And it asks, how did uh, Mr. Eisner use power in his career? And I want you to notice in parentheses, it asks you to consider his preparation, power sources, power tactics, and the effectiveness of his political behavior. So when you answer this question, make sure you address these areas. Um, your textbook discusses power sources on page 349, um, preparation on page 350, um, they discuss power tactics on 351, and political behavior I believe is on page 352. Uh, and there's a lot of specific information in those uh, several pages of reading about the things asked for here. Power tactics, power sources, political behavior. So make sure that your answers include specific concepts and theories from those chapters. Um, and then the rest of the questions you're asked to contrast to different leaders um, and then give some of your opinions about why uh, the board replaced the leader and so in all of your answers you want to use concepts from the chapter so here we are on page 366 and where you see your chapter summary and key terms and so you see some of the concepts that are discussed in Chapter 13, Power Sources, Formal Power, Hierarchy, um, Machiavellianism, Routinization. So you've got all these different concepts that are covered in that chapter. So again, you're going to determine which of these applies to the article that you've read and make a link between the course concept and the behavior described in the article. So then you've got the second part of the assignment on page 392, um, which is a, covers chapter 14. And chapter 14 is actually about conflict. And so when you flip over to um, 392, you're going to see an article about a work group that is facing a conflict issue. And you're going to be asked two questions at the end of that case and it start the con the case starts on page 392 and then continues so the actual questions are here at the top of 393 and so you're supposed to analyze this problem using conflict theory so here we are you're supposed to go through the chapter do your reading and read about these different theories regarding conflict now some of the things that may be included is the type of conflict. There, um, there's information in the chapter that identifies conflicts based on specific types. Um, you also can have specific patterns or stages of conflict that are described in the textbook. Um, there's also various styles for dealing with conflict. Um, the 
text outlines uh, identifiable styles um, that are used to deal with conflict. So there is a lot of specific information other than just to say they're having a conflict because there's a new guy there and they don't know him. That is what's going on, but I want you to take some conflict theory that you've read in the chapter and see which concepts apply to this problem using technical terms from organizational behavior. And then um, you're going to make a suggestion as to what uh, the manager should do about this conflict. And again, as I mentioned, there's information in the chapter about various ways that conflict can be dealt with. So that is the second part of the assignment. Now also be aware that this week there is a quiz, our second quiz of the quarter. And again, this is another 40 point multiple choice test. So it's very similar to the last one that you took in week four. Um, so also in the additional learning resources, I want to point out there are some additional reading that you can do and outside websites on conflict management. The Milgram experiments, most people find that very interesting. And there's also practice quizzes. So there's additional information you can go to there to enhance your learning this chapter regarding both power and conflict. So that is the overview of your assignments this week. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I always respond to emails within 24 hours, but usually much less than that. And my information is in the instructor area. I look forward to talking with you in the discussion this week.